Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be styling my longer pixie, and I say longer because if you saw my last salon visit, you'll know I've had a little bit of a grow out phase. Not sure how long this grow out phase though is going to last, but while it's here, I have been experimenting with different products, different tools, different styling techniques, just to try and figure out what to do with the added length, the added volume. If you have a longer pixie or are in the grow out phase, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to be using some new products, some old favorites, new tool, old favorite tool. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So starting off, I'm just combing through my hair here. And I was watching a tutorial with a hairstylist. He was talking about adding volume to hair. And he was talking about how important it is to immediately, before your hair gets too dry in that towel, to immediately start applying your styling products. Because otherwise, if your hair is kind of dry in certain parts and wet in others, it's gonna change how those products work throughout your hair. So we're gonna make sure while our hair is still relatively damp that we go ahead and apply these products. I'm gonna start off with a new product that you've never seen me use. This is the Purology and it is called, it's Color Fanatic 21 Essential Benefits. What does that remind you of? Yes, it reminds me of the Redken 25 when united. Very, very similar concept. I just think they stopped at 21 rather than 25. But essentially, it's everything from a little bit of leave-in conditioning, UV protection, heat protection, all of those things. And the smell in this, I actually prefer the Redken one, but this one's nice. It is a little, a little bit stronger maybe in a kind of perfumey scent but I feel like it dissipates. So if you're somebody who doesn't like strong scents, you might go with the Redken one, but this one has been a nice change of pace and it was on sale during the Ulta sale. So I thought, why not? Let's pick it up. All right, I have that worked through my hair. And then the next product I'm gonna use is an old favorite to the Catwalk Root Boost, but I'm going to use this a little more liberally. So not only, here in the crown. And this is an interesting product. It's not quite a mousse. It's not quite a, just a liquid. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little bit of a foam, but because it has this, this nozzle, it allows you to get a little bit closer to the root. So I am just going through the whole top section. So with this added length, I have definitely felt like I've needed extra help in adding volume and lift, not just once it's dried, but just overall to help throughout the day, keeping that lift. That is an important thing that I am learning. Now, the other product, I've been debating on whether I was gonna use it today, Oh, let's go ahead and use it. Again, another new product for me. I never use mousse, but this is the Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse. It's a density pumping mousse. This is the 12. And my hairstylist used a little bit of mousse on me and she said with longer style, you might find that a little bit of a thickening mousse would help. I do like the Nitro Memory Cream, but I know a lot of you struggle to be able to find that. So it's it's hard to only pump out a little bit. That's my only thing with a mousse. And I don't need much. I just like a little bit of this on the ends. And again, some of you are thinking more products. Yes, more products. And that video I was watching, I was really relieved to hear him say, look, if you want volume, you want it to hold, you want your style to hold, you're gonna have to use product. So if you just want your hair to just hang flat all day, then don't use any product. But if you want your style to stay, you're gonna have to use some product. All right, now that I have all of that product work through the hair, we now need to dry the hair. And I'm so thankful to Zuvi for sponsoring this portion of the video. You all, if you've watched any of my hair tutorials over the last year, this is the dryer that you have seen me use over and over, whether it's sponsored or not, because I love this so much. Why is it different? It uses light and wind technology, very advanced technology, to dry your hair rather than relying on heat. 
there was a little bit of heat that comes out, but I think it was in my last tutorial where I did five styles in one. Somebody said, wow, how are you drying your hair wearing a heavy, thick turtleneck sweater? This is how. So if you struggle with hot flashes or just as the weather is warming up here, I know many times with my old dryer, I would get done and I would just be literally sweating off my makeup because I'd be so hot. This, you don't have to worry about that at all. There's so little heat, one of you didn't think there was any. But even though there's such little heat, it still dries your hair super fast and it helps seal in all of the moisture. It helps re you retain your color. So there's so many amazing benefits. It's won so many awards and I can see why. Now, what I did just do is I just cleaned this mirrored finish, which in a moment you'll see turn all different colors as I'm drying my hair. But that's important, you wanna keep that that clean and you also want to keep it scratch free and the way that I do that the easiest way is I just always make sure I put on this concentrator which just magnetizes on I put that on when I put it in my cupboard and that way it's protected so I don't even have to worry about it but I'm going to start off this has multiple settings I've been going back and forth between the care or the fast with the extra length on my hair, I really prefer it now on the fast because I think it just speeds up the drying time. And then towards the end when my hair is about three quarters of the way, I will put on this concentrator and switch it to the style setting. And you'll see me bring in my round brush just for a couple spots. All right, let's get started blow drying. And I think if I just sprayed my hair like this, I would really get the comments that we've gone back to the 80s, early 90s, but we're gonna fix it, don't worry. The next step is I'm gonna use a new tool. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me introduce this. Numi sent me their flat iron, and this thing is amazing. It does heat up all the way to 450 if you want to, but I am going to set it, I like 340 has been enough. What's cool is you can just watch it heat up. The numbers just start counting up and it is heated literally within, I don't know, 20 seconds. I haven't timed it to 340. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use that flat iron. And what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of create, well, let me just show you. I am also using this comb that they sent, which is a new thing for me. And I feel like this is something with my longer hair that has become a requirement. <laughs> I can't just stick my flat iron in and expect it to go the right direction. So I've combed out that section 
And I am now going to just go through slowly and create a bend there. And I'm going to let it cool down before I mess with it at all. And that is something that at the end, as I was blow drying, I pressed the changing the selection button and that changes it to a cool setting. And that's real important to set a style in place. So same thing now I've got this front section and I'm going to pull up and then I'm curling back. So if I would have made that curl at the end, at the top, it would have made this even higher. So if you want it even higher, you can do that. But since I have so much length right now, I'm trying to figure out ways to style this to where it looks modern, but it's not too crazy because most of you know, my regular everyday life <laughs> doesn't call for crazy hair too often. So I'm just gonna put a little curl there. And then here in the front, I'm gonna do one more kind of curl back, but slightly to the side. So very important, especially for these front sections to comb through that hair. And this flat iron just creates the most beautiful shine and smoothness on the hair. I have been so impressed. All right, and then I'm going to, let's see, what did I do yesterday? Okay, and then here on the side, I'm going to kind of go back and down and right here on the side, same thing. Now this can make your hair super, super straight if you want. You can change directions. If you kind of flatten your hair one way and then decide you wanna curl it another, this flat iron, you can do that. It's pretty amazing. All right, and then right here on the side, just to kind of break this up, I'm gonna go in and do a kind of side curl this direction. And I think I can create that there. All right, and then we'll see if we need to go back in and straighten anything else out. Actually, I might pull this hair down since it wants to go this direction. Let's let it go that direction. <laughs> okay, so before we do any more, we're gonna add a little pomade. Now, shocker of all, I am not using my absolute favorite Enjoy Dry Wax. I get so many questions, especially from people in the UK, Canada, Europe, that cannot get Enjoy Dry Wax, or some of you have tried it and you're like, nah, it's just too stiff for me. So this is my other top favorite. This is the Bedhead Manipulator Matte. It's a very different consistency, but somehow it has a lot of similarities in the fact that it does not dry super fast on the hair. All other pomades that I have used dry very quickly and you have to keep adding product. And that's the thing that you don't have to do with this one. Also, this one is very water soluble. So the Enjoy Dry Wax takes a little getting used to to get it off your hands. This one's easier to get off your hands, out of your hair. So, and I feel like with my longer style, because I've used stronger styling products when it was wet, I can get away with this and hairspray, of course, and it has held my style very well. So I'm just going to work this through. And as you see, I am really pulling this kind of parted, this part over here pulling that hair up and then as I get to the top I'm scrunching it down because I do love the added lift but I don't want it you know six inches tall <laughs> and then I am just taking that wax and scrunching the hair in the back I'm using it to suction off the sides here and create a little bit of the look of texture and then I'm going to actually comb this back section towards the center. And I am in desperate need of color. So this style has helped disguise a little bit of the gray out since I have this nice 
natural platinum streak right here. It kind of makes it look like I don't necessarily need a coloring just yet or a highlight. And also on the sides here, the way that I've kind of styled it, it, it does disguise a little bit of the line of grow out. Now, just to show you the power of that flat iron, just what's so different, I've decided I want to redirect this front section, just a little bit of it. So with my previous, all of my previous flat irons, I feel like once you went one direction, you could not go back another direction. But let me just show you how this one you can. And even though I do have product on it, which, you know, you don't want to do too much flat ironing with product already in your hair. Somehow it works and it doesn't, I mean, my hair doesn't look instantly dry or fried or anything. So let's add a little bit of hairspray. I am using the Callista Embellish hairspray. I haven't used this on here in a while, but since I went through all of those hairspray trials, I have a lot of hairspray to use up. And this actually though is one that I really did like. And so I'm going to use this today. And just further kind of tuck in the hair and kind of rolling the hair. I feel like I could still use a little flatter look. You see how cool that is? And of course, I have this one crazy hair. So let's go back and we'll just redirect it back up. Cool, right? All right, I put in some earrings. So now here is the finished look. And I think you'll agree, we have lots of volume, lots of good shine, hold. And I feel like it's the combination of all the products and the tools. I think those all worked very seamlessly together. So if you're looking for some new hair products to try, or you need a new flat iron or a new hair dryer, be sure you check the description box down below. I do have a discount code for both the new me flat iron and the Zuvi halo dryer. So check those and I'll have links at, for all of the other products that I used as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Zuvi once again for sponsoring this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.